Muscles back muscles. So in this thoracic area here, there were three muscles here, right? These are all part of the erector spinae, spinalis thoracis, longissimus thoracis, iliocostalis thoracis. Good. And if we come down here to the lumbar area, we can still find the erector spinae here. It's underneath this thoracolumbar lumbar fascia. The fascia is in two layers. The muscle that you can see here between the two layers, actually this inner layer is attached to the edge of it, is iliocostalis. We'll call it iliocostalis lumborum. Inside it is longissimus lumborum. Be careful because there isn't a longissimus lumborum in a human, but it is here in the cat. If I pull the longissimus away from the spine of the cat, the vertebral bones, the muscle, the little short muscles I see here running diagonally on the surface of the vertebra is the multifidus muscle. Okay. So three muscles to name here. And if you were back up here, there were three muscles, three back muscles to name here. Name these thoracis and name these lumborum. Those are the back muscles. Then abdominal muscles. Let's put this back together for a second. Right? Right in the center, you should be able to distinguish the whitish rectus sheath from the regular muscle here. So the rectus abdominis is running straight up through the center of the cat's abdomen. Um, if you then take some area here like this and you peel the three layers apart, the lateral muscles should have an external oblique, an internal oblique, and a transverse abdominis muscle. Three layers there. And then with the breathing muscles, come back to the serratus anterior. This is one place where you can see the ribs externally. And so the muscles here between the ribs are the external intercostals. The external intercostals help you breathe in. They are always associated with the scalenes. The cat has a unique scalene muscle because it's much longer than ours. And it's this ribbon running down here alongside the superficial part of the serratus anterior. And uh, the other, there's three scalings, the other two are up here, but as long as you can name this as a scaling, you're good. So there's two breathing muscles for inspiration. And then here on the inside, we see the diaphragm, of course, the curved muscle responsible for everyday breathing. And then here on the inside of the rib cage, between the ribs, we see the internal intercostal muscles. Four breathing muscles four abdominal muscles, and six back muscles.